Let's go to Michigan. Jimmy, welcome to the Savage Nation. Go ahead, please. How you doing? Okay, Jimmy. I have uh, I've known uh, Mr. Michael David Meeks for over 30 years. Hold on. Let's stop and say who this is. Who is Michael David Meeks, uh, Jimmy? He, uh, Mikey, is the, one of the gentlemen, and I do use the term gentlemen because they all are, uh, that have been arrested by the FBI up here in Michigan. They were part of the Hutari, the scary militia that was out mm. to get everybody. The militia that was going to take over the U.S. government, that? In the United States of America, in order to be able to crack down and take away your guns and and end and free speech. My opinion is America. I don't know about that, but I can tell you about Mikey. Um he liked to train with those guys. He liked to have fun and, and run, run around in the woods and shoot guns at the target range. He loved right. that. Well, so do most police do that. That doesn't mean that they're a cons- Let me tell you something else about this guy. He was a Republican precinct delegate for here in Washtenaw County. Mm. He was planning on running again in August. Oh. He was a member of the Campaign for Liberty. He oh. was trying to change things. Yes, he wanted to bring about political change in this country. He did. But he was doing it in a civil way. And that was just a fun thing to do, to go play with his toys. And well, what's go- odd about this case is that they claim an FBI uh, uh, agent had infiltrated this dangerous militia and had uh, seen them making explosives... And then we learned through news reports that actually the FBI agent had made the explosives. How, isn't that called entrapment, Jimmy? Yes. That's the same thing they got Randy Weaver for and all of the others. That's correct. An FBI agent infiltrated Randy Weaver. They gave him a shotgun that was one inch too short. They brought in the black helicopters, and an ATF agent shot Randy Weaver's wife and son. And that was under Bill Clinton. Remember that? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, it was, and you know, and they and they say these things about these people that, and, and they they got everybody stirred up here in Washtenaw County. And what's interesting too, Michael, is I'm a member of the Michigan Militia Corps Wolverines. We have been trying for a very long time to work with the local government, local police, because we're an asset to the community. Everybody in Michigan is broke. We did a search and rescue mission in which Mikey was involved in, in Bridgewater. We found a woman that, uh, we, well, we found her body. So you're board. saying basically that he's a nice guy and you can't believe they're calling him a terrorist. Right, exactly not. And, and he's, he's friendly. He has many, many friends that are police officers, high school friends. Well, they're claiming he wanted to kill police officers and uh, execute them all. I know that, and it's it's totally ridiculous. It's it's absolutely totally ridiculous. Well, now you know what uh, what uh, the Homeland Security and FBI are after. They're not looking for Muslim terrorists. They're not looking for the next major Hassan. They're not looking for the next uh, bomb thrower at a, at a U.S. Uh, military uh, installation. Instead, they're looking at white Christian male gun owners. Does that make sense to you, Jimmy? It certainly makes sense to me. All right. Well, okay. That's as far as I'm willing to go. That's as far as I'm willing to go. Something's wrong with the whole picture.